Hey guys, it is me Simone. In this video, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make this simple and easy mini apple. This only requires you to use nine pieces of paper and you make this cool mini album. Each page just flips out. Uh, 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 uh. Gorgeous. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how easy this is. Um, let's get started. I did a lot of this work off camera just to kind of speed this up. I'm just going to walk you through what I did off camera. You're going to need three pieces of a heavy duty paper. Um, you can even use a poster board paper if you so desire. Um, but you need a heavy duty paper. You can ex exempt this and do like a chipboard if you want it to. That's more work. I'm just doing a thick 110, 120 pound paper right here. Um, then you're going to need three sheets of that. This is 8.5 by 11. On one of the sheets, you're going to cut it down to the size of your book. My book is going to be 8.5 by 8. You can do whatever size you so desire. So for me, I cut my paper down to 8.5. There we go. I knew it was wrong. I cut my paper down to eight and a half by eight. So eight inches wide, eight and a half inches tall. On the other piece of paper, we have that eight and a half by eleven. On the eleven inch side, I score at eight inches, and then I score at ten inches. This is going to be your spine here, and then you're going to score your edges. This is going to be your spine. My spine is two inches. You can make yours bigger or smaller. If you make yours bigger, you might have to add paper. Um, we'll use some of the scraps off your other paper that you cut down to add a hinge to connect it to the spine. So keep that in mind when you're doing it. I'm going to keep mine at this and I have a one inch spine to attach, well, I mean, a, not a spine, but a tab to attach it to the back of my paper. For our pages, I'm going to use six pages. You're going to cut them down to eight and a half inches square and then you're going to score on one of the sides a half of an inch and this is going to be the little tab you use to attach it to your spine okay it doesn't matter what side just know that side is going to be your little flap and that's all you need to do it's really simple um so let's start adding our paper i'll leave the link to my products that i'm using in the description bar below so my best new friend here guys, Elmer's glue. I left this one open um, last night. I totally forgot to put the cap on it. So it's a little a little dry out. But I like using Elmer's glue because it gives you a little more room to play around and uh, position everything appropriately so you don't have to worry about the adhesive of like gripping super quickly and having your pages be a little wonky. that score line like almost there but not right on okay now we're done next you guys see lines in my book these are lines I put on my spine okay on my spine is my spine is two inches and my tabs are a quarter of an inch to so make sure my pages line up and give each other right space on one of these I scored at every inch, let me score. It. I made a line at every inch, including the edge of the spine. And then over here, I did every quarter, quarter, half of an inch, right? No, no, every quarter of an inch. <laughs> yeah. So over here, I did every inch. Over here, I did every quarter of an inch. Doesn't no matter which side you do. Really not at all. So over here, I'm going to add my Elmer's glue to one of my flaps, which is going to be really important for <laughs> maneuvering this. Sorry about that. 
if I'm shaking the camera. So I'm gonna add my Elmer's glue. And I'm going to line this up with the tab facing this cover. And I'm going to attach it right at the edge of of the score line and I'm going to varnish this in place and then the next tab So this is our one inch over here. Boop. on one inch side so on the one inch side where you do the mark every inch including the edge of the spine you're going to put your first tab right against the edge of the spine making sure your tab is facing the page it's just going to give you a quarter of an inch of space from the cover then your next page you're going to do on the line the first line on your spine your one inch line that you marked and you put your your um, tab right here on your other side. Just up here. Yeah. So over here, I've marked every quarter of an inch. Okay. And you're going to put your tab at the first line that you did the first quarter of an inch. So right here, and I'll make sure I'm straight. Doo -doo. And then your next page, you're going to add right behind that page. So it's your next line. against it keeping yourself in line we're going to add the next page okay for our back pages we're going to attach them right in the middle and to do this though you're going to need to trim off just the hair because we're going to have them pretty close to each other so I like to trim off just a tiny hair of, of it I'm doing like basically I think almost a quarter of an inch off of here maybe yeah a quarter of an inch give or take I'm just going to line it up Okay, so 
piece as well. And we're going to line this up with the edge of the spine. Right, not on the spine, like right, right after the edge of the spine. <laughs> I can mess up my pages. I'm, the mat under me has paint on it, so it's a little dirty. And it's transferring onto the paper. Doesn't really matter. You can always cover it with paper. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm adding my Elmer's glue. And I'm doing this off camera, but. Same thing on the other side, you're going to line it up just, just right there, right there. And on the edge of the spine, just not on it, on the edge, like right after your the score line for your spine, because you want to give it some room. Okay. And that's our book. So let's close these pages. Let's see how they look. Perfect. And close these pages. All right. So let's put it both together and see what the pages look like. Let's see if I did this one correctly too. looking <laughs> to see if I did correctly. I did change it again. Oops. Yes. So I kind of want to give them each a quarter of a bit of spacing. Did I do it correctly? Or oh, I think I did it wrong again. T. Yep, pages are right. <laughs> They're a quarter of an inch from the cover so you can get some chunky embellishments on your first. Oh, this is the inch away from the cover. So you have some space you can get some chunky embellishments on here. And you have a quarter of an inch from this page because it's going to line up right there. Technically. So yeah. So yeah, that's my book. Really simple. I hope you guys understand everything. So on one side you're going to make a line every quarter of an inch the other side you're going to do a line every inch on the inch side you're going to line it right up against the edge of the spine close to cover make sure tab is facing the cover and then you're going to go on the next line after that one which will be your one inch line on your quarter of an inch marks you're going to line your tab up with the first line at a quarter of an inch and then you're going to line up your next tab right after that. And then you see in the back, there's a little bit of space. There's a quarter of an inch of space between the last pages on the spine and your back pages. So it gives you some space to add some embellishments. And they're not right up on each other. And they're going to look right up on each other because, you know, the paper don't have like any structure to them. I wonder if you look if you did this with like um, chipboard how it would look. I don't know, but I want to show you guys that so you have some ideas. You add some cute embellishments to your covers and stuff. But much love, guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day and get crafty. Bye.